Welcome to the Photography News Show, where I bring you the best and latest news in the photography industry. Coming up today, we have a dual fisheye lens from Canon, a new quick release system from Manfrotto, and much more. So, let's begin! Hey fellow photographers, it's Alessandro Carpentiero, travel photographer and gear expert from Italy, and I want to welcome you to episode number 22 of the Photography News Show, my weekly series all about photography gear. And if you're into that, please consider subscribing to always stay on top of the industry. So let's see what's new. Lens news. Canon has announced a very particular lens, the RF 5.2mm f2.8 dual fisheye, the world's first lens that makes it possible to shoot 180 degree VR with one camera to a single sensor. Until this point, to create high quality videos for VR, you needed a dedicated VR camera, custom rigs and more. Well now, you can simply mount this lens on your Canon EOS R5 and film 8K VR videos. The dual fisheye lenses have an ultra-wide field of view of 190 degree, and the great advantage is that the image is internally recorded to a single full-frame sensor, so that you will not have to go crazy with syncing and stitching footage in post. You can control the focus with the focus wheel, and there's also a dedicated dial to further refine your focus. It features a gel holder across the rear elements, while also having fluorine-coated lenses and dust and water-resistant sealing. To allow you to easily work on your files, Canon has developed the EOS VR utility software to convert clips from dual to equirectangular, which is also available as a Premiere Pro plugin so that you can import the footage and start working on it right away. It comes at two grand and it can be all you need, well, besides the R5, to start creating high quality VR content. It surely is a niche product, but VR videos are gaining popularity and it's definitely a segment that will grow in the future. So I think this is a great move from Canon, and I'm curious to see if this is something that other camera manufacturers will invest in. This leads me to the question of the week. Have you ever shot VR content? Let me know in the comments. I've personally never done it, but I think clients will start requesting this more and more. So it might be a good moment to get in the VR game. Camera news. 2021 seems to be like an interesting year in terms of flagship cameras. Sony released the incredible Alpha One, Canon recently launched the EOS R3, and Nikon is going to respond soon with the Z9. This week, Nikon has, in fact, published a short video about it, from which we can understand that the screen will be tiltable also inwards, something that I wish more camera manufacturers would implement, and for example we see this in the latest Fujifilm cameras. The Z9 will have a 45 megapixel sensor, with a burst rate of up to 160 frames per second. That's a crazy amount of fire shots. Talking of which, this week I have for you a super rare Contax Rifle camera, a prototype developed for the 1936 Olympic Games. It has a sonar 180mm f2.8 lens directly mounted on the structure, and it will be sold at an auction on November 20th with an estimated value of $80,000. Accessory news. This week we have Manfrotto, which by the way should be pronounced Manfrotto, as that was the last name of its Italian founder. But anyway, this week it has introduced the Move ecosystem, a new line of products specifically made for content creators that need to change between tripods, sliders and gimbals very quickly. The accessories at this foundation are the Quick Release Catcher and the Quick Release Plate, which is a unique circular quick release system where you just need to drop the plate in from any direction and start shooting. It doesn't need to be tightened, but if you do, you will increase its load capacity up to 44 pounds. To make this system truly powerful, you would need to get several of these kits, one for each tripod, slider, etc., so that you can quickly swap your cameras and accessories between them all. Each set costs 100 bucks and it can be very useful for run and gun filming. Besides this, Manfrotto has also launched the 300XM gimbal, which has a detachable handle that you can use as a remote control. This gimbal can also be used on the Manfrotto's Gym Boom, so that you can have stabilized support with a long reach, which will expand your filming possibilities. 
Loprom has launched a new backpack specifically designed for multi-day hiking, the Photosport Pro. It's available in two sizes, 55 and 70 liters, and it's designed to carry both photography equipment and all the hiking essentials for your adventures. Your gear is put inside the camera bag organizer that can hold a gripped camera with a 70 to 200 mm f2.8 lens attached and two extra lenses or a drone. The amount of photography equipment you can carry is the same for both sizes, so what changes is the space you have for your hiking equipment. Price-wise, the 55 liter comes at $470 and the 70 liter at $500. And as always, you can find all the links to the products in the description. App News Macro photography is a very interesting genre, and some of the latest smartphones, such as the iPhone 13 Pro, come with a macro lens. What if you have an older iPhone and you would like to practice some mobile macro photography? An app called Halide promises to bring macro photography to all iPhones starting from the iPhone 8, without any accessory. This app relies on Apple's neural engine to enhance details and pulling out as much data as possible from the image. The results are quite interesting, as you can take shots that you wouldn't normally take with your phone. And if you use this app on the iPhone 13 Pro, you will be able to zoom even closer than you would with the standard camera app. If you want to give this app a try, you can find the link in the description. Pictures of the week In this segment, I feature the most interesting pictures I've seen on the web. This week, I have for you a project called Turn Off the Plastic Tap by photographer Benjamin Von Wong. He built a gigantic floating faucet and created a somewhat portable installation to raise awareness on plastic usage. The work that goes behind building something like this is truly impressive, and I think the strong visual representation can help all of us to be more mindful of plastic and its impact on the planet. Weird news. The imaging world can be at times weird. This week we have a famous Danish artist who got paid $84,000 for a blank canvas. He pitched the museum with the awesome idea of attaching money to the frame specifically the average Danish annual income. He decided to deliver an empty canvas and the title of his work of art is Take the Money and Run. True story. Rumors. Within a couple of weeks, Sigma should launch the 18 to 50 mm f2.8 contemporary lens for L and E mount. It will weigh just 290 grams and it will be a new addition to the light and compact lineup that Sigma is creating. So let's wait and see. That's it for today! I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Photography News Show. Which news did you like the most? Just let me know in the comments below. If you've liked this video, please give it a big thumb up, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell, and share this video with your photography friends. And if you need any help with your photography, please feel free to reach out on Instagram or via email, and I will be always happy to help. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one!